Okay, so once we connect our data to Tableau, we have to create a data model in our data source. And if your data contains only one table, then your data model is very simple. You have single table in your data model. But in real life projects, things get more complicated where you have multiple tables. And Tableau here offers four different methods of how to combine and connect your tables. We have relationships, joins, union, and data blending. And now before we start doing deep dive in those four methods, let's first understand the data moduling in Tableau. In Tableau data model, we have two layers. We have the physical layer and on top of it, we have the logical layer. In the physical layer, we might have some couple of physical tables and we can combine them in Tableau using two methods, either joining the tables or using union between them. And now let's move to the logical layer. It is the top level layer and provide us like an abstract to hide all the details in the physical layer. This is especially nice if we have a lot of tables in the physical layer. So once we are building our visualizations, we don't want to see all those tables in the physical layer. So the logical layer can provide us like an abstract or going to hide all those details. So the result of merging the tables using join and union in the physical layer going to be presented in the logical layer with single table flat table and we call it a logical table. So that means we're going to have two logical tables. The first one going to present three tables after doing the join and the second one going to present two tables using the union. But we still have in data modeling to connect those two logical tables and in Tableau we have only one method to do that and we call it relationships. And it's very important to understand that in the logical layer, we cannot merge tables in one table. So after we connecting them using the relationship between the two logical tables, the table is gonna stay as it is and nothing gonna be merged. We just describe the relationship between the two logical tables. And now back to those two layers, both of the physical layer and the logical layer, we can find it inside Tableau data source. And as you know, on top of the data source, we have our visualizations, and you can see in this example only the tables from the logical layer and you can start building your visualizations using the data available from the logical layer. But sometimes as you are working with the projects, you build another data source with another data model. And here in this example, it's important to understand that not all logical tables comes from the physical tables. They could come directly from your source system. And now in order to build one visualizations from both of the data models and the data sources, we have some how to connect those two data models or data sources and we can do that in the visualization level where Tableau offer us the last and very unique method of connecting and combining tables something called data blending so by looking at this you can see that Tableau offer us four different methods of how to combine and connect tables in different layers and different levels so in the physical layer we have the joins and unions we have in the logical layer the relationships and at the visualization level we have data Data blending. All right, so now let's see in Tableau how we can navigate through the physical and the logical layer. We are currently at the data source page and as a default, we're gonna be at the logical layer in the data model. So that means anything that we drag and drop in our data model gonna be considered as a logical table. So the customers is a logical table. Let's take another one. Let's take the orders, drag and drop it over here. So this is our second logical table. And as you can see, Tableau did create between them a relationship because at the logical layer, we can do only relationships. So now we are at the logical layer, how we can go to the physical layer. In order to do that, we're gonna go inside a logical table. So let's go to the customers and double click on it. Once we do that, we're gonna go to the second layer. We are inside the physical layer now. So Tableau gonna tell you over here, the customers is made of one table because we have only one physical table. So now anything that we drag and drop in the data model gonna be considered as a physical table. So for example, we can take the customer details. Let's drag and drop it over here. And by default, Tableau gonna create between them, not relationship, it's gonna create a join between those two physical tables. And of course, we we can do a union between them. So in the physical layer, we can do joins and unions. And as you can read over here, it says the customers, the logical table customers is made of two physical tables. And if you hover on this icon, you will see exactly that. So we have two physical tables defines the logical table customers. And now if you want to go up back to the logical layer, we can do that by just closing the physical layer. 
So let's click on that. And now you can see that the customers has a new icon. It says in the physical layer, there is like a join. And we get more information if we hover on the tables. It says logical table customers that is made of two physical tables, the customers and the customers details. So that means the data in the logical tables comes from the physical layer. But if we go to the orders over here, you will see no physical tables. The data comes directly from the original tables. And with that, we have learned how to navigate through the physical and the logical layer. All right, so with that, we have learned the data modeling in Tableau and what is the physical and logical layers. Next, we will start learning how to combine tables in Tableau and we will start with joins. And if you like my content and you want to support the channel, then I really appreciate it if you support, like, and comment. This is really gonna help the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.